Amy Frost is a coach, life manager, triage specialist, keynote speaker, and trainer. She is the National Training Director and Corporate Consciousness Officer for the NonprofitSectorFoundation.org. That's NonprofitSectorFoundation.org. She has an MBA and MA in Spiritual Psychology. She is also the author of When Work Isn't Working and Drawing Boundaries with Grace. Amy CD, Thriving at Work, Visualizations for People in the Real World, is available on her website at amyfrost.com. That's amyfrost.com. Thank you. It's great to have you here on our show today. And you've been very helpful, as I said, by introducing our organization to other nonprofits and profits. So as the, for, as the founder of your organization, um, would you tell us a little bit about why you do that, why you get you know, nonprofits and profits together, and how you think that that really will benefit our community? Absolutely. Uh, we're the, the Nonprofit Sector Foundation, and we are all about helping people who help. So our organization is whatever nonprofits need. And we believe that small and medium nonprofits and small and medium businesses are going to bring this country back to its glory. And so what we do, one of the things on Friday night, we have a mixer at the Ganesha Center from 6 to 8 p.m. And we, we bring profits and nonprofits together and we create a very safe, a very fun environment where they, we, and we actually facilitate the meeting. Mm -hmm. So we have people come in and they register in, we help them set their intention mm -hmm. for what they want to accomplish, and so then we can help match them with the right people. And then we, we, it's about creating the relationships, as you're so fabulous at, <laughs> and, and getting to know each other as people. And we, we, our, our intention is that we have people there that do good work, which we've got so many that we absolutely adore, and have really good heart mm -hmm. and want to make a difference in this community. Great. And so that's how we do, we bring them together and we help facilitate what's one thing that you can do. Let's see, Amy, um, I wanted to, you've got your message, did you want to do that now for us, the, um, the special message that you brought today, yeah, the inspirational I, one? I, I, well, I'm, I want to give, uh, give them a, a tool. Yeah. Okay. okay, so Amy's going to um, give us a tool. Uh, and my, uh, my personal work is all about helping people to thrive at work and in their businesses. Okay. And, uh, and I believe it's making it that easy with easy, simple tools. And I've done a lot of work with uh, cancer patients, their family members, and care mem uh, caregivers. And I think one of the most important parts about doing that is finding a way to get centered, especially when you get the diagnosis or you know people are coming at you for whatever reason. And uh, that seems to be the most challenging time, but that's when we need it the most. So um, I came up with an, an acronym for center because I would say, let's center, and I go, what the heck is centering? So I thought, all right, I've got to make this a little bit easier. So it's, a, it's an acronym, and it's center, and uh, you want to evoke this really all, several times throughout the day, but especially if chaos hits you, something, or you see something's about to come up. So the C is for calm. We've already done that. We took three nice deep breaths. So that's what I recommend is to just stop and take the three nice deep breaths. And that brings you, you know, get you calm. Mm -hmm. And then once you're calm, you want to evoke your higher self. So that might be your your best parent, or your you as your, your best leader, mm -hmm. or your best singer, or whatever <laughs> whatever that is. And you want to bring that forward. So now you're nice and calm. You brought forth your your highest self, whatever form that needs at that moment. And then you're going to get really neutral, because you can't really act effectively if you're emotional. In a, in, a, in a chaos situation, whoever's the most emotional, I guarantee is going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> so your number one job is to get to stay nice and calm, so you're calm, and you brought up your best self, and you're neutral. Now, I believe, and we talk about this a lot, about setting intentions. Mm -hmm. And we set intentions for everything that we do. So I recommend that people send intentions for their day, set intentions for their drive to the radio show, set their intentions for the radio show. So I would want people to start doing that. So okay. I recommend you set an intention for the day, the, the perfect way that you want it to go, your ideal day. So what you've done, now that you're from this calm place, you're going to look at your day, today's intention and go, how am I doing from that neutral place? Well, how am I doing? Not beating yourself up, which we're also good at, especially <laughs> women, right? But really from a loving, centered perspective, am I doing it for the way I want it to? Mm -hmm. And yay, if I am. And you know, pat yourself on the back, number one. And then if, if not quite going the way you want, then maybe you need to, to look at things. And maybe you need to regroup a little bit. Or maybe you need to change your intention. Because mm -hmm. the, the intention we started out with a lot of times isn't the one that we have midday, right? Mm -hmm. When things start happening. 
so then you look at okay you want to if you need to realign you want to look at your options maybe I need to take another route or maybe I need to do something different in my day that I hadn't planned on to look at my options and then you're going to release your expectations so what I always tell people be a hundred percent committed to what you're doing and zero percent attached to the outcome and uh, yeah, and my, I hope to inspire you, but I also hope to get you off your butt and go take some action. So, okay, 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 I'm ready. So that's, no. <laughs> inspiring is great, but I think change is if you don't know. Yeah, you're so lazy. You're such a slacker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so take, let's take a nice deep breath. And in. Maybe hold a little bit. And out. One more time. In. Hold. And out. And then this last time when you breathe in, you're going to breathe in something you love and brings you joy into your heart. Anything that doesn't serve you, let it go. So now that you're calm, you imagine you're in some kind of uh, chaos or some kind of conflict. So you take that breath and you evoke, evoke your highest self. You know what that looks like. I know you do. And from that place, you're going to get really neutral. You're going to look at your intention for today. You're going to evaluate your options based on where you're at with your intention. You're going to release any expectations, set a new plan, and go. And you can do that all in a matter of just a couple minutes, even 30 seconds. That's great. It's wonderful.